we're going for the external walk around. As any other Airbus, we will start with the forward left fuselage. We have 29 stations to check several items on every station. We check how all valves open. Taxi camera. Antennas in the lower fuselage, THF number two, TICAS. Wing inspection light and engine inspection light. Static ports. The other engine inspection light. detector on the top, multifunction probe, that is a combination of the pitot angle of attack, and a static port all together in an MFP, standby pitot, the access for the electronic compartment that we were yesterday. Integrity of the radome. In between the cockpit windows is an another ice detector and three size slip indicators. Today we are going to use a lifter, so it's no tow bar. Coming to the nose section, status of the two wheels, chocks in place. The steering pin, taxi lights, runway turn off lights, landing lights, two temperature probes. No leaks. The external power connectors, because of the very short transit time, we are not going to use anybody, any, any external today. But normally, we require four of them. Once this uh, bird is powered, it takes like 10 minutes to wake up. This is why we need the four externals. This is the green, this thermal indication of the oxygen for the crew. On the right side, the same that we have on the left side, ice detector on top, multifunction probe, and standby pitot. Engine inspection light. These are the cargo door commands. Cargo door is open now, they are going to load two pallets. the cargo door, it's another green disc, thermal discharge of the oxygen of the passengers. We check for no dips of fluids, hydraulic oil, and fuel. Access panel closed. 
engine number three is one meter from the ground, and the rotor is four meter wide. Slats two, three, and four. The fuel connection, same for the engine four. No leaks. Panels are closed. This engine is two meter tall from the ground. and extraction light. nozzle more static discharge Mixability of Bridgestone and Michelin tires. This is allowed. This wheel has no brakes because it's for the body wheel steering. This will help in the turn of the aircraft along with the nose wheel steering. The bay inside is very high to put the locking pin. We need a special tool to do this. They are filling the potable water. You can see we need a full tank. We have a full load today. This is the other drain mask. This is probably hot water. The two other outflows open. All the hatches and panels close. altimeter antennas the bulk 
cargo where our luggage is and the rear cargo. They are going to start the loading soon. horizontal stabilizer is 31 meters wide. This is the wingspan of an old 737 or probably an A318. It can hold on the trim tank 18 tons of fuel. This is more than the fuel capacity of an A320. We use this fuel for balancing, CG working. It only transfers the fuel forward, not the aft and forward like in the other Airbus models, 330, 340. Elevators, more static discharge. the height of an eight-story building. Wide navigation and strobe lights. The APU outlet. More steady discharge. is almost 80 meters and the surface is 845 square meters. You can park 35 cars on each side of the wings, 70 cars. Coming to our happy side with the coral alive and beautiful fishes. Land that we can feel some heat on the brakes. This is the static discharge for the fuel truck. They are fueling the aircraft today, 90 tons of fuel to go to Paris. This is where the rat, the rammer turbine, is stored our emergency generator.
Jettison nozzle. This aircraft can dump 2.5 tons a minute compared with one ton of the A330s or A340s. VOR antenna on top of the fin. Two meters clearance on engine number one. Fin is external, the aircraft is in good condition to fly. Let me show you the cabin crew rest. Come with me. Like in a ship. The easy way. Good. 12 beds here for a long range cruise for 12 cabin crew. USB connection for everybody to charge phones. And of course, communications with all the stations, also the cockpit. This is an elevator. We can put the food carts on the lower galley and bring it to the upper galley, and vice versa. This part is economy. Now we come into business class. They are doing the communication test in between the crew. You can still smell the good leather of these seats. Finally, this is our A380. We are now finished with the checks. And we go into the flight deck to start our departure procedures. Uh, good evening to all. Uh, very uh, pleased to have you on board. So, 24 hours later, we are back in the cockpit of this uh, magnificent airplane. A380-800, uh, uh, registration 9, hotel, uh, Mike and Papa, carrying the most important uh, message uh, on its colors, uh, several color waves. And uh, once again, uh, I have with me in the cockpit uh, Captain Claudio Salaberri and First Officer Juan Domingos. Uh, we have just uh, finished uh, setting up the cockpit. Uh, 
uh, we expect a departure from run runway 2 to right. Uh, it's uh, not a busy time in Kennedy at this uh, time of the day. Uh, so we don't expect any delays out of here. The airplane came more or less on time, and we should expect an on-time departure as well. Uh, Jean is doing the takeoff, um, and uh, depending on the conditions in Paris, uh, we may carry on uh, an automatic landing, as we, for uh, recording purposes, normally also have to perform some automatic landings. And uh, uh, Jean is uh, going to be on, on, on uh, our departure in a while, and uh, I hope you enjoy the flight with us again. Thank you very much. So, final takeoff performance uh, computation. Canon International, key GFK, GFK, runway 2 to right, takeoff weight 4 to 2 decimal 4 tons, runway length 3,420 meters, maximum takeoff performance 595 decimal 4 tons. Okay. V1 134, VR 147, V2 152, flex 75, stop margin 397 meters, max altitude 3075. Limitation, takeoff weight VMCG, flap 1 plus F, trim for takeoff 39 decimal 5%, takeoff shift 0 meters, engine out acceleration 1513 feet. Reverse for computation, all reverses inoperative, and for the engine out, straight on extended runway center line. All check, correct. Cross check with the Vionics information. The Vionics OIS discrepancy known. No cross check with the Vionics for runway, which has been checked as well. Check. All set. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Cockpit preparation. Completed. Completed. Gear pit and cover. Removed. Fuel quantity. Checked. Take off done. Set. Barrel reference. Altimeter setting is uh, 30.26 set. Altimeter setting 30.26 set. Before start, down to the line. Request push back and start, please. Uh, good morning, uh, North Shuttle 72, 7922, Super, Gate 5. Request position, start clearance. 7922, Super, Start Control. Push up to spot 1, call me for taxi. Push up. Push up to position 1, uh, call back for taxi, North Shuttle 7922. Super. Ground cockpit. Delta 1888, right on Juliet. Below the line, windows right and doors. Closed. Delta 1888. Closed. Parking brake. Delta 430 at taxiway Juliet, cross runway 2 to right, say parking. Cross 2 to right at Juliet for Bravo 22, Delta 430. Delta 430, straight ahead on Alpha, good night. Straight ahead, good night, Delta 430. Air Train 990 Heavy, runway heading, contact New York departure 125.7. Right at Echo, full length. You can see your uh, old has been completed around the airplane. Also on the nose camera, is, uh, it looks pretty clear. They are connected to the tow car, and soon we'll be starting our pushback. Check. Cockpit is ground. Yep. Can you release the parking brake, please? Brake release. Yes, we'll start the push to position one. Okay. Engine start only after pushback? Yes, please. Very good. Clear right.
beautiful moonlight fly out of the parts at night. Mm. Should be very nice over the bay. Gentlemen, on behalf of our flying Norwegian Captain Carlos Mikuri and his crew, would like to welcome you on board our Airbus 380. For a good start. Split disconnect. Thank you so much and uh, see you soon. With us. I go remove the equipment. Next time on the left side. Have a nice flight. Pick up. Brasson. Flight controls. Flight controls check. Check. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Check to rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Check. Nice side. Kennedy ground, uh, good evening, North Shuttle 7922 Super, request taxi. North Shuttle 7922 Super, Kennedy Tower, runway 22 right, taxi left on to Alpha, hold short of Foxtrot. Copy, runway 22 right, to left on Alpha, hold short Foxtrot, North Shuttle 7922 Super. Copy, Alpha, hold short of Foxtrot, clear left. Clear right. Pressure zero. Left turn here. Check. Again, left. Clear right. Clear right all the way. Skylink 9743, uh, looking for the IFR back to Hamilton. Whole set of Fox, correct? That's affirmed. Skylink after the left three. turns, after the, the terminal. Just try to get a, see if I can get out of the system or bump up the time forward. Stand by. Clear left. Clear right. And ready, ATC clearance confirmation. Go ahead. So we are clear to Shard Go, flight plan route. GFK. Five departure runway two to right, initial climb five thousand on the squawk one five two four. Checked. Engine out straight ahead one thousand five hundred, then climb two thousand MSA. Checked. Before take off checklist. Checked. Briefing? Confirmed. V one VR V two thrust rating. Checked. Check. Squawk. Set. Before takeoff, down to the line.
So light off. North Shore 7922 Super, there is a vehicle on the runway for routine service inspection. Runway 2 to right, line up and wait. Line up and wait to runway 2 to right, copy the information, North Shore 7922 Super. Line up and wait. Check. North Shuttle 7922 Super, 1230 at 12, runway 2 to right, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 2 to right, uh, North Shuttle 7922 Super. Clear left. Clear the line. Below the line, takeoff runway. To the right, confirm. 2 to right is confirmed, cabin crew. Advised. Pack 1 plus 2. On. Before takeoff checklist completed. Yep. I will pre select 2 to 4 on the heading. And 1257 is set on standby VHF1. Correct. All ready? Yep. Claudio? Ready, Captain. Your controls are up. Okay, same brakes. Yep. I have controls. Take off. 7921 is rolling. Roger. Manual flex 75, SRS, runway, auto thrust blue. Set. Yes, set. I do not. Check. V1. Rotate. Corner 9, caution, jet blast, Roger, Julia, proceed on one two to right. Policy climb. You're up. You're up. Pull heading. North Shore 7922, super contact 25 7, good day. 25 7, have a good day, sir. Heading. Departure North Shuttle 7921 uh, Super is out of 800 for 5000. North Shuttle 7922 Super, need departure out of contact, climb and maintain 11000, turn left heading 100. Climb and maintain 11000, left turn heading 100, 7921 Super. Select 110 on heading, thrust rate decline 3, 11000 blue. Correct. After the confirm checklist. Down the line. Thank you. Status. No shuttle seventy nine twenty two. Super proceed direct happy. Contact the Boston Center one three five decimal eight. Happy thirty five eight seventy one uh, twenty sorry seventy nine twenty two. Super. Thank you. Direct happy. Manage the climb. Climb. Check. Hello, boss. This is uh, North Shuttle 7922 Super. Is out of 6.5 or 11,000? North Shuttle 7922 Boston. Clap. Maintain for level 390. Level 390. 7922 Super. Thank you. 39,000 blue. Alt cruise blue. Check. Here we are at uh, our cruising altitude of 39,000 feet. Uh, we are in contact with Boston uh, Center, uh, added towards uh, Nova Scotia, and uh, then one onwards across uh, Atlantic. Uh, and uh, tonight we are estimating uh, 
a very short uh, flight time of only uh, five hours and 55 minutes. Uh, that's quite good. A tailwind component of 65 knots. Uh, that will uh, make our arrival uh, in uh, Charles de Gaulle uh, around 25 minutes ahead of schedule. Um, we departed Kennedy from runway 2 to right. Uh, the full on board on departure was uh, 90 tons. Um, now we have uh, reached our cruising altitude and of course uh, the fuel load uh, as it reduces will allow us eventually to climb to a high altitude later on uh, towards uh, half, uh, uh, midway uh, to, to Charles de Gaulle. Um, the 380 flies uh, quite fast compared to other types of airplanes. Uh, we just get Mach 84. Uh, our ground speed right now is 512 uh, uh, knots. And uh, the temperature outside the airplane is 58 degrees Celsius right now. And the winds are blowing from the west at approximately 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, the cabin is uh, having dinner and uh, we are now about to get our oceanic details. Uh, and. Uh, Later on, I'll come back to you some more information on the flight. Thank you very much.